Hey guys, so I have a video for you today. This is my Makeup a Revolution haul show you what I got video. I don't know what to call it, but that's what it is. Um, the reason that I look a little cuckoo and crazy is because I do the self a tanner and apparently got an accent. I don't know. But anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. So it's kind of in a setting zone right now. Um, I really like it. I like that it's a um, you know, a naturally looking color. It is a little bit darker than I thought, but, you know, I think that I will shower and probably do another application so that it's even, but I like it. I mean, and uh, my hair's a mess because I tried a new shampoo and conditioner that I got from CrowdTap and I don't like it. But anyways, that's explaining why I look like I do. But anyway, so this is the Makeup Revolution haul that I did. Um, this, this a ballot came out and my friend Lainey um, posted it and I was like, oh, that's really exciting. So I went right to MakeupRevolution.com and ordered a few things because I really don't own anything except for one palette that I got at Ulta. But this is Fortune Favors the Brave, a 30 eyeshadows by British Beauty Blogger. Um, it's a very blinding package. Look at it, like takes out all my light. Um, but it's very pretty. This is the box that it comes in. The actual package is... Pretty much the same thing. It's very, very pretty. If I could show you back. Look, it like literally like shines away my light. I don't know. But anyway, so it's very pretty. Um, it looks like this. It has a huge mirror on the bottom. So this is the actual shadows. Um, if you go on their Instagram, there is a picture um, or a video of them swatching it. But um, I feel like it's a little deceiving, maybe. I don't know. But I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And it, the the shimmery colors definitely work better. Um, what? I um, will not be swatching every one of these, but I will swatch some of them and show you the differences. So it does tell you the names on a little piece of paper. So I will tell you which ones I'm swatching so you can know. I'm going to show you the one called Golden Coins. It's this one right here. Um, I'm going to show it to you without any wetness. It's very pretty. Um, very pretty. Hey Dan, what are you doing? Um, and then I'm going to show you <clears throat> with a little bit of a, not primer, but a wetness next to it. And I'll show you the difference in the way things swatch. This is why I feel that they, oh, he got, you don't even know why he's crying right now. He got his bone. <laughs> Hold on, Kaden. Let me just show them the swatch and I'll help you. Um, that is the difference between the two. Do you see it's same eyeshadow? One has a wetness to it and one does not. So that is the difference. It is much better wet children with fur I tell you okay so the next one I'm going to demonstrate with the same thing is um what do we got this one's called where's the name green machine and it's this green one over here we're going to demo it without any color um any still very pigmented still very pretty but I'm going to give you a little swatch with some wetness. Let me turn the camera off. And I'm just using kind of a, um, it's, an, it's an, a makeup remover, which is weird to me that I'd be using that, but it's an oily based one. So I will show you, so you can see I put the wetness there. Same eyeshadow. And then I will just swatch some, um, you know, other ones on my finger to show you the quality of this palette. Um, I'm just going to do random ones. He keeps putting his bone on the table next to where he is and he can't get it. Um, the mattes in this palette, I was disappointed in and so but not completely because they are blendable with a brush. 
But do you see how they aren't as pigmented? Obviously, satins and glimmer, uh, shimmers are going to be more pigmented. But for 15 bucks, this palette is well worth it. I'm excited to have it. I really like it. For full swatches, you can go to my Instagram. But the next thing that I got from them is a um, this palette, which I now I have grease all over my hand, from my hands. When I swatched. Okay. Is the Golden Sugar Rose Gold Palette. Um, this is a blush palette but it has hello oh, there you are very this is i've swatched this in my instagram as well i will swatch some blushes for you um some shimmery ones i'll swatch the bronzer for you and i will swatch the highlighter for you like this is very good quality i don't remember how much this was i think it was like seven or eight bucks yeah right and this was like seven or eight bucks, I think. And they have some um, more matte um, ones. And they have one, two, three mattes and one, two, three, four, five shimmers. It's a very good palette. Full swatches are on my Instagram, like I said. Um, the next thing I bought from them, because I've never tried anything, was their Ultra Velour Lip Cream in the color. What was the name of this color? Their eyes can't find us and it was a little bit too light for me I should have gotten a darker color um so I don't know how I feel I don't think I like their lip creams because they kind of sheer out so that's way too light so I would say this is more of a glossy color um you know just more of a nude color for me it's very light but it's pretty they're really pretty but they're not like a matte so I was assuming they were going to be more like a liquid lipstick kind of like the NYX ones um they do have the same moussey feel as the NYX ones but they much, are much more sheer and less pigmented so it's still it was like two dollars so I mean what are you gonna do the last thing I got which I thought was really cute was this little mini travel brush set um and they're pretty decent quality it's very pretty um you have a rose gold color to go with it there are many, uh, but I figured if I was going to travel, nobody wants to bring huge brushes. They are kind of mini, so I don't know how, but I feel like it'll still do its job. This would be good for contouring, and then you have the little eye brushes. This is like an eyeliner brush and um, an eyeshadow and a foundation brush, which I wouldn't use as a foundation brush. I'd probably use this set maybe, or um, I would even use it as an eye brush, but it was like... I think this was like four bucks or something like that. So I was like, eh, which I mean, I didn't realize how many they were, <laughs> but it's still really cute. So that was my makeup revolution haul for full swatches. You can go to my Instagram because there are 30 eyeshadows, but this is the blush palette, which is super awesome. This is some of the fortune of the fortune. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, fortune favors the brave palette which I do think is sold out in Ulta but you can get it from their makeup revolution site so it, see shipping was like $12 so that's why I kind of got a little more than you know um one thing so that it was kind of worth it um because I'm not going to order a bunch of times from that site and pay $12 for one thing but because they are based in the UK so that's why you know it's worldwide shipping but for $12 it's not that bad for all this you know but it's a really pretty palette I like it I, um, I hope that whoever has it really enjoys it. It's such a great wide color. It's a great matte. The mattes blend out really well. Um, I do say I would suggest using the shimmery shades and foiled metallic-y ones with um, mist or primer or something like that because they definitely show up better that way. But I'm very happy with my Makeup Revolution. You could find them at Ulta. Um, I don't know if this palette's still available, Ulta. It might just be sold out for now. I don't know if it's limited edition, but they have such amazing palettes. This isn't just the only one. I would be sure to check them out at Ulta. Be sure to check them out at MakeupRevolution.com. And such like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share. As always, I appreciate it. Bye, guys.